Hi, Kathy. Hey, I hope you're having a good time in Arizona, as good as you can have. I've got uh, a workout for you today um, that you can use the uh, water jugs. And so you can either, I, may, I weighed mine today, and um, this water jug is eight pounds, um, almost eight pounds even. Um, if you want to do different weights, I know you've got a lot of rock there, you could dump out the water and you could put rock in it and um, have a lighter weight or a heavier weight, whatever you want to do. But this eight pounds works pretty well for what we're what you're going to be doing today. I think the eight pounds works great. So we're going to do a squat press. I'm going to give you the workout. I'm going to list it, the order of exercises and the number of repetitions, and I'll write that up in an email um, along with a link for this video and, and send that to you. So you'll have something visual to print out and look at when you're doing it. And you're going to do a number of reps in this workout and just ignore Judy's workout altogether on this one. Um, number of reps and then you're going to do three rounds. So I'm going to go through one round of it and that way you'll have an idea of how to do it. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy it and um, if you have any questions about the tools that you have or need ideas of other workouts with the tools that you have, please just shoot me an email and I'll be happy to, to help you out with that. So anyway, we're going to start with the squat press. So I want you to hold um, your water jug as best as you can like this knees apart and it's going to be important for you on your knee to really stabilize and work the knees out okay so just go down as far as you can comfortably I don't want you to go past parallel of course and you're going to go probably about three quarters of the way down so you're going to go here and then you're going to push up and pull back down here push up pull back down I'm going to go to the side here push up up pull down here up and down. So you do 10 reps of this. We'll count that as five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. That's the first exercise. The next exercise is a bent over row. And you can do these um, independent or you can do both of them together. To put yourself in this position little arch in the back just squeeze up and pinch those shoulder blades together and then let it down nice and easy squeeze up pinch the shoulder blades together that's the important part and let it down nice and easy up pinch the shoulder blades we'll let it down if that bothers your low back in any way then just go to a bench and you can do this one Pinch that shoulder blade, let it down nice and easy. Pinch that shoulder blade, let it down nice and easy. So you do 10 reps together, or you do 10 on each side. So that's your bent over row. The next one's gonna be a hip hinge, single leg airplane. And I think, I think you can do this. If you cannot, then um, do the glute bridges with your ball, or the glute bridges with your band or do both of those um, for 10 each. But airplane is you're standing nice and tall, remember? You're trying to keep the hips square. You don't want to flare them out, and you're hinging back. You're gonna feel a lot of tension through the back of the, of the hamstring here, and you're coming up to center. Again, with that hip, I'm not sure how stable you'll be. Hopefully, you'll be able to do it. But if not, if it's too much, Again, I'll do one on this side so you can kind of see how my hip is not flaring. I'm keeping it square to the ground and then coming back up to center. Keeping it square to the ground and coming back up to center, okay? So I don't know if it bothers that hip too much, then go on the ground and do your glute bridges. Bench press is gonna be next and we're gonna do these single arms so you get a little more core work. So I'm just going to take one of the water jugs. You're going to have to find yourself a bench. I think you probably can find something in, in your house. And you're just squeezing up. See, I've got a handle on it here. And pull back down. Push up together. Pull back down. Really squeeze your glutes together as you do this. Pull back down. Squeeze up. Pull back down. You can even do this on the floor if you don't have a bench. 
I'll get down on the floor and show you that way. Let me scoot down so you can see me. So up, pull back down. Up, pull back down. All right. Ten on each side. And then the next thing you're going to do is a balanced lift. We've done this um, several times, but you can do it with a band if you can hold on to something. Um, you can just go out to the side. But what I'd like for you to do is the one where we do forward, out, and then back. So you're lifting up forward. And this is when we also did this where you had your back against the wall and you're pointing the toe trying to really lift. So try to lift for about 10 seconds and then pop back down. Try to lift about 10 seconds on this one again. Pop back down and then three, we'll do three of those. So you're lifting about, about 10, work up to about 10 seconds. And so once you do those three, then I want you to stand really tall, squeeze out to the side and try to balance. Again, I wouldn't put a band on for this one. Let's just do um, body weight. No band, no extra resistance. See if you can stand. So you might need to be next to a wall. You're going to do um, another one for about 10 seconds and hold. Come back down, you'll do it a third time. And then you're going to stand nice and tall and just squeeze that glute. Push back for 10 seconds. Come back down. Push back, squeeze that glute for 10 seconds. I know I'm not doing it for 10, but I want you to hold it for 10 seconds and come back down, do it a third time, and then you'll do that on the other leg. So you'll do that series each time through um, the workout. And then the last thing you're gonna do is bicep curls. I had to get a little creative for this. Um, if you have any type of a broom handle, I'm hoping it's gonna be a skinny one. I've got a pipe here and I'm using my two, um, my two water jugs for this. So I'm just sliding, you'll see it once I bring it up. I'm just sliding my broom handle through the handles of the water jugs. See, you can kind of see that. All right, and then you're gonna do a bicep curl. So stand nice and tall, just squeezing up and let it back down nice and easy. You get a good stretch each time. If you go sideways. So squeeze up, let it down nice and easy, how it kind of falls out away from my body, but my elbows stay into my sides. Squeeze up. And I think you'll be okay on this. If your wrist hurts, I know we were doing, um, we were doing more this direction. You can do that with the single water jug and see how that feels. You can go this way and do a hammer curl back and forth. If that feels better on that elbow. I don't know if your elbow was gonna bother you, but you could do a single hammer curl. So you do 10 on the right, 10 on the left. And that's the workout. Squat press, bent over rows, the single leg hip hinge or airplane, bench press off of the floor if you don't have a bench, uh, the balance lift, and then the bicep curl. And then you'll repeat that as many rounds as you want. I think you can do at least three. And um, if that seems too easy, go up to five. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. And um, shoot me a, an email or a text or give me a call. Let me know how things are going for you in that workout. And if I need to make any changes for you, I will. All right, take care, hon.